going on guys, Zainov here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the AEK-971 Assault Rifle in Battlefield 4. Now my first impressions of this weapon were pretty obvious, I didn't really like it, but with the most weapons in Battlefield 4, as I started to unlock the various attachments, I quickly started to fall in love with it. Now before I start discussing the stats that the AEK has, I'll explain how to unlock it for those who don't quite have it yet. So in order to unlock the AEK, all you have to do is acquire 28,000 Assault Rifle XP, this amount is not at all astronomical, but if you're having trouble, I suggest playing some close quarter game types to rack up a lot of XP in a short amount of time. Now, in addition, using XP boosts can help you unlock that AEK even faster, so make sure to utilize them to your best advantage. Now that you know how to unlock the AEK, let's start digging into the stats that it brings to the table. Starting off, it has a lightning fast 900 round per minute rate of fire, which is pretty comparable to the FAMAS's 1000 round per minute rate of fire. Now in order to get the full benefits of this weapon's super fast rate of fire, I suggest playing close quarter game modes because you won't have to burst fire at enemies 40 to 50 meters away, and you'll just find yourself having a blast just casually playing around with the AEK. The maximum damage it will do is 25, and this number slowly drops to 18 at farther distances of about 55 meters away. So in close quarters it will kill in about 4 to 5 shots, as for farther distances it will kill in 5 to 6 shots, maybe even more. Now to best utilize the damage of this weapon, I suggest using it only in close quarter games of Team Deathmatch or Domination. Now you're not going to stand a chance with it in big team games of Conquest, however you could get away with using it in Rush, but it always depends on the map that you're actually playing on. The muzzle velocity is 580 meters a second, which basically means that the shots fired from the AEK travel very fast and will reach your targets faster, lowering the time to kill. However, if you attach a suppressor, this number will decrease to 320 meters a second, but I highly suggest not using a suppressor in the first place. Now, if your magazine is completely empty when reloading, it will take you 3.6 seconds to reload it, but if you do have a few bullets left in the magazine, it will take only 2.3 seconds. You can almost compare the longer reload time to a light machine guns. A lot of them take 4-5 to five seconds to reload the huge box magazine. So in order to combat this very long reloading time, I suggest reloading after each kill you get. This is to make sure you aren't putting yourself at a massive disadvantage if you run out of ammo in the clip while in a firefight. Moving on to recoil, it has a vertical recoil of 0.38. This amount is very comparable to the FAMAS, with the FAMAS having a 0.4 vertical recoil. Now in simple terminology, this number means the gun does kick a lot. Now in order to combat the recoil, I always use the muzzle brake, and it actually makes the gun really usable. Without muzzle brake, you cannot use this gun at medium range as it kicks way too much even if you burst fire it. As for the left recoil, it has a 0.15, and for the right recoil, it has a 0.4. So to sum it all up, the AEK kicks up and to the right. The magazine size is 31, but as always, if you are reloading an empty magazine, you will have 30 since there are no leftover rounds in the chamber of the weapon. I think this size of magazine suits this weapon perfectly for taking out 2-3 to three enemies at a single time. However, you will burn through the ammo rather quickly because of the high rate of fire. You will rarely notice it that much, but try and find a support player that is willing to actually throw down some ammo for you. All stats aside, I think that the AEK-971 is a fantastic weapon to use. It performs really well if you attach a muzzle brake to the barrel, and the iron sights aren't the best, so I typically use the Cobra Red Dot sight, which I'm pretty sure is unlocked after getting about 10 kills with the weapon. So whether you're looking to mow down large groups of enemies at one time, or you just want a close to medium range assault rifle to use, the AEK is definitely the weapon for you. That is just about all I have to say about the AEK-971, however I am curious to know your thoughts on it, so leave me a comment down below telling me your experiences using this gun. As always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to click the like button, also make sure to subscribe for daily Battlefield 4 tips, tricks, and news. But until next time guys, this is Zainov, and I'll see you in my next video.